Today we'll take a quick look at how you can take a project from a breadboard like this and have a custom PCB made like this. A long time ago, I put together this little simple strobe project for my RC planes and quads and whatever I wanted. Two wingtip strobes, some fading beacons, and just some marker lights. I decided I wanted to make it on a custom PCB and switch it over to an AT Tiny processor. So I made this up. I made this up simply in Fritzing. Uh, Fritzing is an open source circuit design program. You can do pretty much most things in it. It's not the most user friendly and there are lots of online solutions now, but it works plenty good enough for me in this case. The layout of this board isn't the absolute best, but I did okay. I was able to fit a variety of surface mount components instead of the through holes that I use here to take up much less space. And I was able to have this board fabricated from JLC PCB. For $2, you can get 10 boards manufactured and shipped 10 by 10 anywhere in the world, which is one heck of a deal. So I sent it in and a few days later, this arrived. Pretty simple stuff. They send it just in a basic envelope. I didn't panelize them, so I only got a handful of PCBs, but if you have them panelized and get the sizing right, you can get a lot more than this in a 10x10 10 10 panel. Sent me a nice little pen too. So from my fritzing diagrams, I was actually able to generate a bill of materials, which is a really cool little function of fritzing. And it tells me what components to put where. So we'll just go ahead and fire a few onto the board and maybe we'll just reflow it real quick. Show you how quick this is. Okay, so you don't have to have a reflow oven like I used there. If you're interested in one, go down in the description. I'll link my review of that one. It's a, it's a wonderful deal. Okay, so taking a look at our board, I like showing how things come out raw. Now, I did a poor application job of that, uh, of the solder paste. Uh, I could have done a lot better. And you can see that in the way it reflowed here. We definitely have more on one ends than the others, but like that one's not bad, that one not good, that one's not bad. All we have to do is just do a little clean up here because of all the smear that I had everywhere. It's no big deal, uh, just apply it a little bit better. What is a bit bigger deal is my voltage regulator here did slide. Uh, it's shifted over the surface tension of the solder on the bottom of it. So again, you can solder these by hand. You don't need a reflow. And in that case, that wouldn't have happened. In, the, in this case, what I'm gonna do is I'll, I'll just use my hot air rework and warm it up and slide it back over, hold it down on the board. Uh, normally, I, I wouldn't even use the reflow oven on something that big. Just use the hot air. It's, it's, it avoids this problem. Technically, I can leave it like that. The legs are just gonna be a little close to the cap. They are soldered, but that's, We've taken a simple little board, designed it in fritzing. Uh, I didn't show you guys the whole design process, but you can check out lots of other videos online. Surface mount soldered, some components, no problem. This'll do. Don't shy away from making your own boards. Anyone can do it. They don't need to be perfect. You're gonna have trials and tribulations like this. Easy cleanup, minor, minor thing. Good luck in all your projects. Click a thumbs up on this if you like these style of videos, if you like this raw format show my mistakes and everything guys i will see you guys next video thank you to all my patrons for supporting me click the link below join me on discord for 24 7 live chat anytime cheers guys